Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I thought I'd do something that I couldn't find already on YouTube, a comparison of the Kuna Security Video Light and the Ring Video Doorbell. Both offer cloud services to record video. Both have built-in cameras. Both let you communicate with your phone to whoever is out at the front door. Uh, but with very big differences between the two. We'll find out which one's best or which one fits your needs better than the other. I've had both systems now for a little while. Kuna Light for quite some time. I was actually one of the first people to get it on one of those Kickstarter programs. And you cannot buy them in white. I actually had this one painted, so if you're looking for a white version on their website, you can't understand why you can't find it. It's only because I had this painted personally. So it matched the rest of the decor in my house, or the outside of my house. That being surprised, I'm really surprised they don't offer it in white. That was kind of shocking. The Kuna Light is a motion activated system that, like the Ring Video Doorbell, does. Uh, does alert your phone and let you know that you of course have somebody at the front door uh, that person could be just simply walking by though which is very common in these condos in this particular area so that doesn't just because you get the alert doesn't mean somebody's standing at your door waiting for you to answer it so that can be annoying when you pick up your phone to see who's at the front door and there's nobody there Unlike the Ring Video Doorbell, it also is a motion activated and notifies your phone. But one of the differences is you can set it to where if somebody just pushes the doorbell, then it alerts your phone in a different way. Which is really nice. Because then you know for a fact somebody is actually at your door. The Kuna Light has a built-in speaker system into it. It runs off the 110 volt of the house, so there's no batteries ever to be used with it. You don't have to worry about that at all. And it just Wi-Fi's to your home router, of course. Currently, I don't have a paid account. It's free. And here's one of the advantages over the Ring Video Doorbell that's very important, at least to me. Even with the free account, they let you store cloud material, cloud video, and they will keep it for a few hours, roughly three to six hours. So if somebody came up at your door at 3 p.m. and you chatted with them, um, it also saved that conversation and that video footage to the cloud, and you could download it from the cloud to your phone right onto the smart card, or your SD card, correction. Whereas the Ring Video Doorbell doesn't do that. They don't save anything in the cloud if you have the free account. So every time you tap on to see, oh, what was the motion on the Ring Video Doorbell, you get nothing, Please, except for a please subscribe to view any footage. Whereas this gives you about three to six hours back that you can still review, which is very, very nice. On the Kuna Light, one of the other things I like about it very much is that the built-in speaker is extremely loud. When I talk to somebody through this, through my phone, through this, you could hear it all the way out to the street. Not that it's blaringly loud, but it's that clear and it's that good. Kuna Light also has different looks to it besides this one particular look. The microphone picks up the person at the front of the house clearly, no problems at all. So your audio and video back and forth through the two systems are extremely good. There's no issues with that that I find at all. 
Um, if anything, you might be in a bad area around town where your 3G or 4G is not doing very good and you're going to have issues. And that has nothing to do really with the Kuna light. The one time I found that the Kuna light was not, the cloud-based system was not doing very well, was Halloween night. So many Kuna lights, and probably ring video doorbells too, had so much motion activation from so many trick-or-treaters, I found that it was very difficult to access any video in the cloud that particular night. Otherwise, you don't typically have this mass knocking at doors all at the same time on the same day, the same evening. The video camera lens is wide, but not near as wide as the Ring video doorbell. So if you definitely have a larger swath of coverage that you need done, the Ring video doorbell covers that very well. Whereas this is a little bit more powerful, more zoomed up, so you get a better image of the person if they were in front of the lens. And I say that if they're in front of the lens is because my front door has two windows, living room and kitchen window, directly to the sides of it. And this was a problem one day when somebody rolled open my window, removed my screen, reached in and took a laptop off my desk. So, and this did not catch it because it was too narrow of a focus of the video. It was at anybody at the front door. Ring video doorbell though, gets it from sidewalk to sidewalk and does actually an extremely good job of covering that wide area. One of the things I like about the Ring Video Doorbell professional model is the fact of its small size instead of that big unit with the battery in it. So it's a cleaner look. That I like a lot. And I don't have to ever worry about recharging the battery, taking it off, taking it inside, charging it up. One of the things that's really nice about this is at night, the button glows and you have four or three, possibly three red LEDs lit up. That kind of lets anybody walking by in the evening see that there's something lit up at the front of this house and it draws their eye to it. And most people are now are catching on to, it's a security camera. So they may just keep walking on if there's somebody that's casing your house. One of the huge, huge disadvantages to this, so much so I would have returned it if I didn't have the Kuna light. That disadvantage, the audio quality coming out. So if you're standing here trying to talk to the person in the house, you can barely hear anything. You have to get your ear right down to it in order to hear. I thought there was something wrong with my particular unit. Although it was clear when it was coming up, I couldn't figure out how to raise the volume. After contacting Ring, the manufacturers, which customer support is really good over there. They answer the phone, they really want to get your video doorbell working as good as possible. But after contacting them and asking, how do I turn this thing up? Because I set my girlfriend at the front door and she could barely even hear me without putting her ear to the, to the thing. And if you live on a street, maybe that has traffic. Mine's a cul-de-sac, so I don't have any challenging noises besides today being a windy day. If you have that sort of street, you're really going to be challenged. After contacting Ring Video Doorbell people, customer support, they went through a lot of diagnostic, um, had me stand out in the front door. I gave them access to my video. We chatted. but. The volume was so low, it's completely unacceptable for this product. I hope they fix it. But it turned out nothing's wrong with the unit, and that is the biggest complaint. That the volume coming out to talk to the person at your front door is just too low. Although the microphone picking up, listening on your phone, it's okay. It's actually fine. It picks up the person at the front door, no problem. So the smaller unit is much more attractive, has terrible audio quality coming out, enough so that I do not recommend purchasing it. The alternative is the rechargeable version that 
I don't know how often it has to be charged, but from my understanding, not too often. It's acceptable. The audio quality coming out of that, I've been told, is considerably better. Much, much better. Probably because it has a bigger speaker inside. That could be the case. A factor in the audio quality in here is that this is running off the doorbell power. Small speaker, very little voltage to run that speaker, so chances are, unfortunately, that's why it's going to not ever be fixed and get any louder. I hope I'm wrong, but I predict that I am not. It's going to be stuck at this low volume. One of the other cool features about the Kunalite was it actually will play sound effects. In other words, I have mine currently set to, if somebody walks by it, it plays a little chime. And I've noticed off the security footage, people walking by tend to turn around, look and see, what is that? What, what? And then sometimes they'll catch this camera and realize they're being caught on camera. That's a great feature to let all the neighbor kids know that there's a camera on here. I've even had occasionally where somebody will walk by at 3 in the morning, almost looks like a homeless person happened to just be in the area. And that does its chime and wakes up. They turn around and you get a nice face picture from them. So if anything, then I'll do download that to my phone and just save it for a rainy day in case I notice something weird around the neighborhood. One of the other features is, besides that chime, Kuna offers other sounds that will come out of the speaker as a chime. A barking dog. Nobody's going to believe there's a barking dog inside your house when it's coming out of your light, but that's interesting. Um, on Halloween, they had a very scary sound come out. Uh, anytime anybody would walk up, that was great for the kids. It got a little startle out of them. It was actually pretty good. So, all in all, both serve a different purpose. I keep both of them. I don't have a subscription to either service as of yet. They're both filling weak spots of the other. So not only do I get the light and a security camera, I get an, an item that alerts other people that there are cameras here, times two. The other camera does a wider field to catch and not miss anything. The other one gets a closer up image. So the kind of, the weak spots on this are made up by the ring video doorbell. The weak spots on the ring video doorbell get made up by the Kuno light. Next we'll look at pricing for cloud service. So next we're gonna check out the price services of the two and see how they compare. We go into our Kuna app and one of the things I really like about it, the Kuna app, is that it immediately shows you an image currently of outside. More of a photo. This is a still photo, but just taken the moment I open the app. If we tap on it, it then will switch to, to live video at this point in time at the moment. Let me go back. Now we swipe to the left, and we currently don't have anything shown in history. We can check out our account and see what it cost to upgrade. And there you have it, Central Security $4.99 a month per device, billed annually which is nice, you pay one time for the year, you don't have to worry about it every month. Up to four devices, $9.99, and so on. Most folks just have one device. That's, I think, very affordable for what you get. We'll leave the Kuna app, we'll go into our Ring app, and you first notice you get nothing visually of the front of your house. So you now have to yet make another tap. We've gone into the front door, 
camera and still nothing. We have to now hit live view, which of course gets you a landscape view of what's currently going on. And you can see how wide this is. You can activate your speaker, hear what's going on outside. But again, if you push the talk button, you're really going to not, they're not going to hear you. <clears throat> event history. So here's our event history listed instead of shown images, whereas the Kuna will actually show photos, uh, still images from those individual files of maybe the person at the door, which is helpful. Nice. So we're going to go to front door motion. And as you see, this is what you get. Cloud video recording is only $3 a month or $30 annual. That has improved. That was more expensive as I recall. But of course, when you watch this video, who knows what the prices will be. Rings every time somebody has ring, rang the doorbell. So that's a nice separation. That's when you know somebody really is at the door and they're just not simply walking by. Motion settings. I really had to turn this down and even my motion zones, which I set up to be cover my sidewalk area so that when the kids are playing on the grass, it wouldn't activate. Unfortunately, it still activates even with the kids playing on the grass. So I have not found that the motion zones are functioning very well. So both the ring video doorbell and the Kuna light have been activated. So when you want to do your pull down on your Android phone, what you immediately get is an image of the front door, a static image, which is kind of nice. And you can tap that and it would open up your app. Here is your recorded video from earlier. And like I said, even the free service stores video for about an hour, maybe three to six hours tops. That's usually enough time for you to review and download it if it's actually very important footage. So there you have it, the comparison between the Ring Video Doorbell and the Kuna Security Light. I'm making this video for the one reason that when I looked on YouTube, I, at the current time, could not find a comparison between the two. Um, and as you can see, they both have their advantages and weaknesses. If I had to do over again, I'd probably settle for the Ring Video Doorbell non-professional, the one you're going to charge up the battery, um, because I'd really like the feature where the person at the front door could clearly hear me and that doesn't take place with this smaller unit even though it looks much nicer so and I like its very wide swath of video it can capture uh, that said the Kuna light is nice because you get a better picture of the face they're a little more closer up so again there's advantages and disadvantages pick the right one for you or do what I did get both that's it. Hope that helped.